Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Recently, Dee and I were having a discussion at mealtime. And you know what? It turned out pretty uh, serious. You need to know something, though, about my wife. She's got a big heart, especially for those who are alone. Throughout this pandem pandemic, one of her greatest concerns are those who are alone and isolated. As Thanksgiving is just a week away and many families are not gathering together this year, Dee's heart goes out for all those who will be spending the holiday alone. We too have made that decision for ourselves uh, to forego the larger family gathering. We'll deeply miss gathering with our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. They are the joy of our lives. We know that this isn't a lifetime decision, but something that we need to do for this year. But yeah, our hearts are sad. And that got me to thinking, what can we do about this? I can't make the pandemic go away, but isn't there something that we can do? How can we lift the spirits of those alone for the holiday? And then like, it hit me. I can do something about this. And if others will help me, together we can brighten the day for many folks. So I wanna challenge every person who's listening or reading this short devotional to call one person on Thanksgiving Day that will be alone and wish them a happy Thanksgiving. Take just five minutes to talk to them, to let them know that they're not forgotten, and to share just a little love with them. Jesus said in Matthew 25, 40, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Together, my friends, we can make a difference one person at a time. Will you do that? Will you take five minutes and give someone a call on Thanksgiving Day? Maybe it's a friend, a neighbor, a relative, someone that you know is going to be alone and then give them a call. I thank you in advance for joining me in sharing a little bit of joy and love this Thanksgiving day. I have a lot of things to share with you about Wesley Church and upcoming community activities. Help is needed to decorate our church for Advent. They're going to do it this Monday morning beginning at 9 a.m. Remember, many hands make quick work. Poinsettia order forms are in the bulletin, and there are others available on the table in the lobby. Deadline for the orders are November 29th. Our Advent experience this year, both for preaching and Bible study, will be centered around Adam Hamilton's book, Not a Silent Night. And there are a few copies of those available in the office. I would encourage you to pick up a copy and read it. Jeff Miller is also leading a study during Sunday school. And we'll begin preaching and studying November 29th. We hope many of you will join us for this very informative study. Our Join Hands Christmas project is going very well. And I certainly want to add my thanks to everyone who's already picked up an ornament tag for the children. They are also making a special plea for diapers this year. So please return your gifts and diapers to the church uh, not later than December 6th. Of course, our COVID safety protocols remain in place. Please RSVP when you plan to attend worship uh, in person. Uh, and if you're in the building, we do ask you to wear a mask. And know that we continue to live stream our service both on Facebook and YouTube every Sunday at 9 a.m. Well, I thank you for visiting with me today. And I'd like to close our time with a brief word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, as we approach Thanksgiving, may we all be mindful of those who are alone and take a moment to reach out to them in Christian love. We thank you for the bounty of blessing bestowed upon this nation and each of us. 
cure those infected with this terrible disease, strengthen our caregivers, and renew our resolve to keep doing the right thing to care for ourselves and our neighbors. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.